Bankai is an incredibly difficult form to achieve, and in addition to this, it is even harder to master this second release of the Zanpakuto. What is even rarer to see is a Bankai that has been completely mastered. The closest example of a mastered Bankai that we have witnessed is the Bankai of the late great Head Captain Yamamoto Genryusai. Zanka no Tachi is the most powerful and feared Bankai within all of Bleach. This transformation burns a Zanpakuto with the literal fires from hell. The scorching flames were burning so intensely that they could not be seen by the naked eye. In this video, I'm going to explain everything that we know about the Head Captain's Bankai. I will go over each of the four stages of it, as well as proving why in terms of raw strength and power, it is the best Bankai in the entire series, only being rivaled by the Bankai of Ichibe Hyosube, the leader of Squad Zero. So without further delay, let's begin my breakdown of the legendary Bankai Zanka no Tachi. Join me in giving a massive thank you to this video sponsor, NordVPN. Keeping yourself safe online while browsing the internet is more important now than ever before. NordVPN is a service that I've personally used for the last two years, and I can safely say that it does an amazing job of protecting you and your information while you're online shopping or just surfing the web. It is by far the best VPN that I've ever used. As fans of Bleach, we all often wonder what is the best way to watch our favorite series through official means. If you live in the US, it's pretty easy because all 366 episodes of Bleach are available on Hulu in both English sub and English dub versions. However, because I live outside of the US, I don't have access to it. But thankfully, with NordVPN, it allows you access to your favourite shows from streaming services anywhere in the world. So if, like me, you live in the UK and you want to watch Bleach on Hulu, with a simple click of a button, you can change your location to the US and be able to enjoy watching Bleach with no bandwidth throttling from your internet service provider, which ultimately means that the episodes that you watch will not be constantly buffering because of slow streaming speeds. For a limited time only, NordVPN are offering an exclusive deal to viewers on my channel. Head over to nordvpn.com forward slash dbzimran to get a huge discount on your plan along with four additional months at no extra cost. The best thing about NordVPN is that it is totally risk-free with its 30-day money-back guarantee. You literally have nothing to lose. Go to nordvpn.com forward slash dbzimran in in order to understand why I never browse the internet without NordVPN switched on. During the Quincy's first invasion of the Soul Society, all of the Shinigami had mobilized against their attack. The head captain had set an example for his subordinates by immediately charging towards the leader of the Quincy, Yuhabak. At the onset of the battle, the head captain had wasted little time by activating his fearsome Bankai Zanka no Tachi at the end of chapter 506. The head captain's Bankai possesses the most powerful offensive power. It is unmatched even by the Bankai of individuals like Kimpachi, Ichigo, Hitsugaya, and arguably even Ichibe. We know several facts in relation to his Bankai. The key piece of information is the fact that the heat generated by Zanka no Tachi has a temperature that is as warm as the surface of the sun. Undoubtedly, it is the strongest fire type Zanpakuto found within the entire history of the Soul Society. The heat is so powerful that the head captain actually had to limit his power and end the battle as quickly as possible so as to not destroy the entire Serete because of his raw power. Zanka no Tachi is correlated to the wielder's Ryatsu. After witnessing the head captain use his Bankai, it proves that he has a limitless supply of Ryatsu at his disposal, and this is because of his many years of training and battle experience. Upon activating his Bankai, Yuhabak notices how the flames emanating from his Zanbakdo have disappeared. As we see the head captain Zanbakdo scorched and withered, the flames burn his blade as smoke comes off of the battered blade. After Zanka no Tachi is summoned, any flames that were created by Yamamoto Shikai Ryujin Jaka are absorbed into his Zanbakdo. His Bankai utilizes all of the power of the flames to burn anything that it touches out of existence. Like I'd mentioned, because of the power of this Bankai, it affects the surroundings a great deal. If Yamamoto uses it near his comrades or a densely populated area, he has to be aware of how long it has been active for. Zanka no Tachi instantly removes the moisture in the air, as well as causing water in cups or vases to dry up. It is so powerful that it resulted
Ted in Hitsugaya's Bankai Daiguren Hyoremaru to be rendered useless. The ice that it was generating had instantly melted because of the insane amount of heat emanating from Zanka no Tachi. When he cuts with his Zanbakdo, there are no flames visible, which is contrasted against how flames are generated from his blade when he swings his blade in its Shikai state. In chapter 507, the head captain states that while in Bankai, his body and blade are both covered by the flames of the sun. Unahana had stated that if Yamamoto keeps his Bankai active for a prolonged period of time, then it would eventually burn away the entire Soul Society. At the start of chapter 511, we see a young Shunsui sneak into the head captain's chambers as he sees a portrait of him covered in flames. He wonders if this is Oldman Yamamoto. He is then caught by the head captain as he asks him what the painting is of because it resembles a god of fire from some legendary old tale. Yamamoto tells him that this was a monster that had shown up a long time ago within the Soul Society. He is referring to himself as a monster here, as this portrait is of himself when he had no choice but to activate his Bankai against Yuhabag 1000 years ago. He states that at the time the Soul Society was going through a very difficult time, and by activating his Bankai he had only made things worse. He chillingly warns and even foreshadows what would happen if he were to ever activate his Bankai again. He states that if this monster was to ever show up again, then he will most likely lose his life and not return because of it. This is the destructive power of Yamamoto's Bankai, a power so mighty that it is reserved as a final resort where no other option is feasible. Zanka no Tachi is awe-inspiring because of the sheer scale of power that it commands. All of this power comes at a heavy price, as the head captain was right. He did not return after having used his Bankai because he had ultimately failed against you. Habak. There are four complementary parts to Zanka no Tachi. The first two parts of his Bankai are continuously active upon release, as Zanka no Tachi East concentrates all of the flames produced by his Shikai and Bankai into the tip of his blade. When he releases the flames from his Zanbakdo, it simply burns whatever it touches out of existence. This singular aspect of his Bankai is enough to make it one of the strongest Bankais within the series. The attacks from Zanka no Tachi East are able to overpower the defenses of the Quincy's Blue ability. The second, automatically activated power is Zanka no Tachi West, which makes the flames he generates invisible. They completely surround his body with heat, with temperatures reaching up to 15 million degrees. This makes it virtually impossible to touch him without the risk of being incinerated. The heat produced is so high that it does not appear as flames to the naked eye. The third part, Zanka no Tachi South, is activated when the head captain drops the tip of his blade into the ground. As he requests the help from the corpses, of all of his fallen victims that he had killed with his Zanbakdo. They appear from a tear in the ground that opens up as the heat from his blade awakens the ashes of the people that he has killed. He takes control of this undead army as he orders them to attack Yuhabak. The head captain is able to specifically pick which corpses he wants to revive as this gives him a psychological edge against his opponent, especially if the enemy has a connection with the undead soldier, like Yuhabak who had recognized his fallen men from a millennium ago. The final, most powerful aspect of his Bankai is Zanka no Tachi North. It is a single concentrated attack of heat and fire that burns anything it touches out of existence. He uses this against the doppelganger of Yuhobak as the attack incinerates the left arm and torso of the mimicking Sternritter Royd. Now I have seen a lot of people question why is it that the head captain did not use his Bankai against Aizen during the fake Karakurotam arc. I think that there is an easy answer to this question and it's because we are aware that the head captain was under the influence of Kyokasu Getsu. If he were to have activated his Bankai, then there is a risk of it having been used against him because of Aizen's ability of complete hypnosis. Another reason is that a lot of the battles taking place within fake Karakura town were taking part in close proximity to each other, as Zanko no Tachi is so powerful that it dramatically affects its surroundings. This is also one of the reasons why Shunsui did not end up using his Bankai during his battle against Stark. Both of their Bankai affect the environment around them to a greater extent than an ordinary Bankai would. Now, in terms of weaknesses, the most important limiting factor of Zanka no Tachi are that it cannot be used for a prolonged period of time because of the risk of collateral damage and because of the immense amount of Reatsu that it uses up, it can only be used for a brief period of time. Like the head captain had stated, if he had continued to use his Bankai, then it would not have only destroyed himself, his opponent, but the entire Soul Society too. During Yamamoto's battle, 
battle against Yuhabak, he was handicapped after he had lost one of his arms during the fake Karakura Town arc, and he had decided not to restore it via Orihime's powers. Yuhabak had seen Yamamoto's unwillingness to seek help from humans as a sign of weakness. He had also stated that the Gotei 13 of today are weaker than the original Gotei 13, and this is because times of peace have softened the Shinigami. He states that Yamamoto is very different from the Hellspawn who he had originally fought 1000 years ago. If Yamamoto had used his Bankai against the real Yuhobak and had not used it against the doppelganger, then there is every chance that he would have survived the encounter. However, the Shinigami had lost against the Quincy because they had gotten weaker during times of peace, while the Quincy had gotten stronger and innovated over the same period of time. Despite the weaknesses of Zanka no Tachi and the differences between this Gotei 13 and the original, the Bankai of Head Captain Yamamoto was far more refined than when he had originally used it against Yuhobak. It seems like he had only used Zanka no Tachi East and West during their first encounter, but because of the continued training, he had refined his abilities to be able to use four parts of his Bankai, and now he effectively has four Bankais for the price of one. The future of Bleach in general is very promising, with the anime adaptation of the Thousand Year Blood War arc beginning in October of this year, as we will finally be able to see the Bankai of the Head Captain animated in all its glory. The Bleach manga is also continuing with a Hell arc, which was teased with the release of the New Breeds from Hell special chapter released in August of last year. There is a real possibility of Yamamoto returning within the manga, as it was confirmed that the sole burial ceremony that the Shinigami perform actually sends their former comrades to Hell. It was confirmed that Ukitake, Unahana and Yamamoto were in fact sent to Hell. This means that the head captain who actually wields the flames of Hell has now become a guardian of Hell, which is a fitting title that suits his powers. There is every chance that we will in fact see Yamamoto's Bankai again, as I am sure that he will be returning in the new arc. I would personally love to see a battle against Yamamoto and Shunsui. Both of them have four parts to their Bankai, and the battle will be between the old head captain versus the new. In summary, Zanka no Tachi is an impressive Bankai, but its true power is derived from the intense Reiatsu of old man Yamamoto. It is his burning will that brings his Bankai to life and makes it appear as impressive as it is. A Zanbakdo in general represents the power of the wheel if anything, Zanko Natachi proved why Yamamoto had been the head captain for so many centuries. Now we have reached the point of the video where I want to hand over the discussion to all of you. What did you think about the head captain's Bankai? Did it leave you feeling impressed or disappointed? Also, do you agree with me that it is the most powerful Bankai within the entire series, or do you think that it can be beaten by another? I would love to read all of your thoughts on Zanko Natachi, so definitely continue the discussion in the comments. And lastly, thank you for making it to the end of this video, and I can't wait to see you in my next Bleach video. If you enjoy my content, then you can support my channel through Patreon for as little as a dollar a month, or even through YouTube by becoming a channel member. You will gain access to exclusive channel perks and a Discord server which I frequently use. So become a member of my Zero Division and be the first to know about my upcoming videos. And once again, thank you for sticking around till the end of the video, and whatever you contribute will mean a lot to me.